Welcome back to Squawk Box. CNBC and Acorns Invest in You, Ready, Set, Grow, partnered with the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce to take the financial pulse of LGBT entrepreneurs, the goal to learn more about how they manage their personal and business finances and the specific obstacles they face based on their sexual and gender identity. The survey addressed topics from emergency savings to business succession plans to post-COVID small business confidence. Kate Rogers is here with more on all of it. Kate, good morning. Hi, Andrew. Good morning to you. Some interesting findings here. We pulled more than 2,300 adults from certified LGBT business enterprises on a variety of topics. For just about every small business out there right now, we all know it's really tough to find workers. Our poll found that owners said that they're struggling to hire right now for a variety of reasons. 42% pointed to workers not returning due to enhanced unemployment benefits. More than a third said that workers found alternative employment. 19% said their workers were demanding higher wages and just over 3% were afraid of COVID. We nearly 80% think it will be easier to find workers once enhanced unemployment benefits do run out. Most are making their way back from the pandemic. Some good news here. The biggest impact for LGBTQ businesses was loss of revenue, followed by reduced budgets, temporary closures, decreased wages, and more. Really good news here. Less than 1% said that they had to close permanently, uh, which is a little bit lower than we've been hearing across the board. Now, overall, more than three quarters of LGBTQ business owners are expecting a full recovery in 2022. Nearly 40% said that government stimulus would be the one thing that could continue to help their small business thrive in 2022 and beyond. We're going to be talking about all of this and much more with personal finance pro Susie Orman on June 17th at 1 p.m. on LinkedIn Live. You can register at cnbc.com slash Susie Orman event. Back over to you guys. AK, okay, before you go, what percentage of owners got government aid? So, Andrew, just over 35 percent of the business owners we surveyed said that they got government aid uh, and just under a third said that they, they didn't get enough aid, which is interesting. So many were able to access this. But like we're hearing in the broader small business community, many small businesses said that they didn't quite get enough that they needed, which is why you're seeing that 40 percent number right. saying that more aid would be the thing that would help them recover moving ahead. OK, thanks for that report. Appreciate it. And to read more about the survey, you can go to CNBC.com forward slash invest in you. We should also note that NBC Universal and Comcast Ventures are investors, uh, anchor investors of some sort, in Acorns. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.